In this video, we share the secrets for all of our packing methods, our packing lists, our backpacks, our suitcases, and how we pack it all in this video. Stay tuned. Hi there, we're Chris and Steve from Eat, Walk, Learn. We're an early retired couple who left our corporate America jobs in May of 2021. We sold everything, including our home in Denver, Colorado, and all the things in it, plus our cars, just so that we could travel the world full time. Everything that was left, we put into our two carry-on suitcases so we can travel lightly around the world. Would you please take a moment to subscribe and like? We share our tips from our nomad life, take repositioning cruises to get from continent to continent, and we enjoy gorgeous hikes in beautiful places around the world. We also try to eat vegan as often as we can. We hope you'll enjoy reading one of our latest books, including 50 Hikes in 50 States or our bestseller, Two Carry-Ons and a Plan. You can pick them up on Amazon next time you're there. Please follow us on social so you can join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Thank you so much for sharing our adventure with us. Where are we? We are in beautiful Sarasota, Florida, and I'm so excited to talk about how we do our packing. You know, two years ago, we sold everything that we owned, and we've been traveling the world with a carry-on suitcase and a backpack each and making it work, and it works great. And it's, it's here to tell you uh, more about that. So. Let's kick it off. Right. So this video is going to be a little bit different than how we've done in the past. We're going to chat with you about a few things and share our packing list. And then we're going to cut to videos of Steve giving you his why he loves our particular suitcase. We both give him why we love our backpacks. And then we actually do a special packing series of how we actually get everything safely without wrinkles and comfortably into our backpacks. And it's a secret method that does not include packing cubes. So kind of play along with us as we go through the video and see if we can get our production skill up to speed on a particular uh, episode. So, all right. Um, while we're talking right now, we are going to put up a, our actual packing list. So Steve has a packing list and I have a packing list. We're gonna show that here in the background and you see a list of all of our items. If you want more details about it, take a screenshot or pause the video and you know take a picture or whatever and yeah. go back go back and forth so you can see see that. And we'll also put in the description a link to the branded items and where to buy them. I mean, we're not going to tell you where to buy a t-shirt, but we will tell you where to buy our Osprey backpack and or Osprey suitcase and so on. So look in the description for that. Look in the 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 list for all because everybody how many t-shirts how many t-shirts do you pack, honey? Well, it's there it is on the list. <laughs> How many super do you have? How many of these? Oh, anyway, it's all on the list. So, okay. I think right, but we also want to share like some of the things that we put in our in our in our ecosystem of our backpacks and our purses and our bags and so on. Because a lot of people ask, like, what's the one thing I should pack that people forget about packing or what's the one way you solve this particular problem? So you got your list of things you want to share or your tricks? Yeah, I got a few things. And, and I, the couple of things that I want to uh, tell you about first are things that we've been doing without for the last two years. And we kind of did a little assessment and say, you know, what are what do we miss? What's missing in our lives? And what is it that we could add that uh, is, is not a big expense and doesn't take a lot of space that would really enrich our lives. So the first one is that we we uh, splurge, it's not a splurge, it's like $30 and got the, uh, the Amazon Fire Stick. So this gives you the ability to watch you know, Netflix or Hulu. Um, I love Judge Judy, you know, <laughs> and, you know, we don't watch <laughs> we don't watch a lot of t TV, but I'll tell you what's good is that you can get all your favorite YouTube videos easily on the big screen. Subscribe so, now. It's <laughs> a little hint um, to, for you to, to, to do that. Press that subscribe button and that like button. And, and thank you so much. So so this was a little bit of a, you know, this is exactly what it is. I know a lot of people who are traveling have their fire stick already. And this is something that we've been doing without that we just just recently got. And and it and it's great. The other thing that we just recently got is a little uh little speaker um to attach to our phone. We love listening to music. Show, show the box and, so people can yeah, see the product. Here's this is the uh this is the box. It's called uh Zero and it's tiny. Yeah, it's I mean, really like, lightweight. It's, it's the size of my thumb. You can see compared to my head, my huge head. <laughs> or your nose. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's not even as big as my nose. That's a challenge. <laughs> um, but it's really nice to be able to Bluetooth, to be able to, and the sound is is 
is good. And to be able to listen to music, you know, while we're in the kitchen, as we're traveling, to be able to just have music that uh, that we can listen to and play, make podcasts and, you know, things like that. Yeah. Let's so, just... yeah. Okay. A couple more things. I have a list too. I can't wait. One to is, okay, what is this? I bet you know what this is. It's a toothbrush holder, but wait, there's more. Inside are our Q-tips. There are Q-tips. This is a great way that I've found to hold Q-tips. I've got, you know, enough for, I don't know, how many how many days that are that are in here that you need in a really compact way that's safe that's secure that's sterile that stays sterile and, and it's it keeps easy your, to the pack. cotton balls the cotton ends dry and exactly. clean which i think is often exactly. a challenge so so this is a, another little trick and so i i like um you know the last thing i want to share is a lot of people uh talk about compression packs and and we don't i don't necessarily use compression packs mm -hmm. i use the compression straps on my suitcase to, to pack things down and keep things in a, in a nice small place. But I'm very organized and I have a lot of pouches. And so I have a pouch for my electronics. I have a pouch for my little you know, medications. I have my bag for my um, uh, my liquids because, it, and that's really close. I keep that at the top of my backpack. So if I need to take that out as we're going through security, I can pull that out. And, and where did you get your pouches? Like at the dollar store, right? Yeah, I mean, a dollar, the dollar store, you can get them, you know, in different places. And I, I don't have any particular kind of pouch that I, that I say that like, but this is, so here, this is kind of a, a little splurge of mine. This is my tea. This is for you, Amy pouch. Connors. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, Amy. Um, if you love your tea or you love your coffee or you have that particular thing to have that available as you travel and not have to wonder, you know, is this restaurant going to have any good tea that I could have or is it in the Airbnb? You know, it's not going to be in the Airbnb to be able to carry, the, carry that around with you. Again, super light, super easy to to pack. It's, so it just slips right into my into my suitcase and I have my my tea wherever I want it. Is that all your favorite favorite items? Okay. That's for today. Yeah. Okay. So I have a few I want to share as well. And kind of on Steve's point, it's just an example of bags that you probably already have. Like, don't go out and buy a bunch of special bags at the travel store. This was, I think, my kid's pencil pouch or something. And in there are all my adapters. One of the adapters I really love is this product here. Um, I've shown this to a couple people. It's called Septics. I'll put the link in the description. It comes apart in three different uh, pieces, one, two, one, two, and three, and has about, has all the European configurations and a lot of um, Southeast Asia's configurations. I think we, like 95% of the time, this has solved all of our problems. Yeah. I like that it's so compact. And what's nice is when you plug something in, it's like, here's the adapter. You put something in here, you put that in the wall, you don't have this giant thing in the plug in the wall that often is a challenge because you've got furniture in the way or it's too heavy or it's awkward to get a big block or something in there so that's why i really like this set i'll put the, again i'll put the link in the description also have you'll you'll see this in our packing video this is my sippy straw i got it on amazon it is a filtering straw so in our places where it's questionable about the water where it's um we just take the tap water we sip it or maybe we boil the tap water and we sip it um, I have had, it's called Clean Sip. I'll put a link in the description and it, it was four or five dollars. It's much cheaper than some of the more branded uh, filtering straws. Next is my favorite tool. Um, I've had this for one of these forever. A lot of my friends have purchased them too on my, on my recommendation. This is a, a seven in one tool. It has a whistle, a compass, a light, a thermometer, and a mirror, and a mirror. And I don't remember what the other seven <laughs> items are. Anyway, there's seven. Oh, uh, six and a half. Yeah, six and a half. Anyway, this is like the, the Kogan seven and one. And it's, again, I'll put a link on the description. It's like seven or eight bucks. I got that at REI. Um, here's just another example of what my sister said to me. How do you not buy all the cute things in all the souvenir stores? Well, we don't buy them because we have to carry them. <laughs> um, but this is one thing I got. I think I got this in Greece or something. And in here is my special papers and uh, a paper extra copies of my passport photos in case you need those for visas and pictures of my kids so those are in there two more items are i love my spork i actually broke one of the times <laughs> so i need another one but it's got a cutting knife there it's a spoon and a fork so it's a spork nice handy thing we can eliminate getting um uh, temporary and plastic items because those come across right. our life a lot and we're eating out and it's reusable so it's nice and then probably the one thing that people maybe don't think about bringing them that what has come in help 
surprisingly helpful many times is just a USB thumb drive. Flash this drive is a flash great. drive. Uh, remarkably, this has come in handy many, many times as we've needed to print off things or whatever. Uh, either internet doesn't work or it's not compatible or some story. This happened actually in Japan. We were able to use, I was able yeah. to print my entire 200 page book because I had my thumb drive with me. Exactly. So anyway, all right. So those, you've seen our packing list. You've seen some of our, our tricks of the trade here. Now we're going to cut to a video of Steve uh, demonstrating what he loves about our Osprey Transporter 40 wheeled. And then videos of Steve and I talking each about our backpacks. And uh, then we'll be back after that for some commentary. Hey, I want to tell you what I love about this bag. This is actually Chris's bag. I've got the same one in black. We love it so much we bought it twice. This is the Osprey Transporter transporter 40 uh, wheeled. We'll uh, put a description, uh, a link in the description so you can find out more information about it. But some of the things that I love about this bag, one is that it's waterproof and we've seen it out in the rain as it was being put into the, to the bottom of the airplane and we know that our stuff inside was well protected. We also love the uh, the zipper on it. It's just, this is Osprey so you know it's going to be good quality so you know the zipper, zipper is going to be really sturdy and really uh, well protected in uh, inside. The other thing that I like about it are the compression straps. So we want to get our stuff in. We're packing a lot of stuff into a very small carry-on. So it's really important that we have that. And when I'm talking about size, they say size doesn't matter, but it does matter in particular airlines and also weight. And this is the exact size of the maximum size that Air Asia says that will fit in a uh, uh, t as a carry-on. It also fits the Ryanair and all the other discount airlines. This is the, the right size for that uh, particular purpose as a, as a, as a carry-on. One of the things that I like about it personally is the wheels. These are really sturdy wheels. And I've seen a lot of, uh, of suitcases and a lot of bags that have wheels that, that look like they're gonna break the minute they touch the ground. Not only that, but this is a really sturdy, sorry, sturdy back. So if you're going up those big curbs in Malaysia or you gotta yank this thing upstairs, it's gonna be able to handle it. This is a really well designed and well uh, built. Uh, built bag. Uh, while we're talking about the inside, it's super easy to pack. It opens up really nicely. It's great to be able to put things into it, to compress it down in order to get things in and out. I had a bag before this that was, I had to wedge things in from the side. It just, it just really didn't open up as well as this one does. Talking about lightweight, super lightweight. My previous bag was a nice bag, it was sturdy, but it was heavy. This is super light and weight does matter, especially if you're going on some of those uh, uh, discount airlines where you can only carry like seven kilograms on the plane. You wanna have as light a bag as possible. And then related to that are great handles. So lots of ways that you can pick this up, either from the top, from either side there's handles, so you can carry it. So it's really easy to get it in and out of the uh, storage bins and, uh, and throw that around as you need to. Um, I think that's the, those are the, the big uh, benefits that I see in this bag. If you have anything like this, maybe you could tell us more. It's my turn to tell you about how much I love this backpack. It is a Rick Steves backpack. You can only get it on the Rick Steves website or at his store in Seattle, in the Seattle area. Um, I actually got it in the store. I love it. I love it for a variety of reasons. First of all, it came with a strap, so you can make it a shoulder bag if you want. I took that off because I use the backpack straps. Also on the back is a sleeve so that I can put that over my arm on my carry-on and take this off my back while I'm going through airports and traveling through cities and stuff. I don't have to actually wear the backpack. I can put it on the arm of my back of my, my carry-on. What I also like is that there's a zipper here in the, in the flap where I put all my paperwork and then there's a, sec a secret pocket here where I put my wallet and passport and things like that. There's also a pocket here that I put my drawing pads and so on in and there's a water bottle holder here. Inside it's nice and deep and there's a place to put my iPad or my uh, computer and my Kindle are in there. I also like that I'm able to put my nice little buttons here and if the button falls off, the back falls into here and I can actually have a chance of finding it again. Whereas if I put them someplace else on the bag, I might lose parts of it. 
And um, that is what I love about this fabulous Rick Steves bag. It cost about $60 in the Rick Steves store. We'll put a link in the description. All right. Can't wait to tell you about my backpack. Uh, I love this bag. It, this So much goes into this bag. And the first thing I want to tell you about it is how well it fits underneath the seat in the, in the airplane. Um, I had a, a backpack previous to this one that was just a little bit too long and the flight attendant would come by and they say can you push that under can you push that under and I had it pushed under as far as I could um, I don't have that problem with this bag it fits great underneath the seat um, it's got a lot of a lot of nice pockets on the inside so I could put my laptop in here really easily it's got a pocket up top this is where I put my essentials my passport things like that as I'm going through security my change and stuff will go in there pens and things really easy to get to it's got two places for water bottles. You can see how I decked it out with all my Grateful Dead stuff and my stuff from the Japanese, uh, from Japan. Um, it's got straps on the outside, so if you wanna put a jacket or something that's drying, it's easy to put that on the outside and also straps on the bottom if you wanted to, to put on like a, uh, a tent or a sleeping bag or something like that that you wanted to strap to the bottom. Easy to do that. My favorite feature of this whole thing, as I'm getting a little bit older, are the the waist belt it's got to have a waist belt i've got to be able to take that pressure off of my shoulders and get it onto my waist and the waist belt is absolutely essential but also really comfortable straps and everything's adjustable plus the chest strap across so i can actually put quite a bit in this and quite a bit of weight and it still stays comfortable and it still stays uh, easy to manage um, it's big it's it's got all the great features to it this little side pouch is where I'll put all my essential like power cords and things like that in that I need to get to quickly. I'll put that in the side pouches here. Um, and uh, just for me, it? it is, oh, it's from Decathlon. <laughs> and it was only $40 or 40 euro or something like that. Anyways, inexpensive, inexpensive and a great durable all around purpose bag. Love okay, it. now that you, that, welcome back. Um, I now that you've seen uh, what our hardware is, uh, we do want to talk just briefly about some of the things that Steve mentioned in the luggage part about Air Asia and these uh, Brian Air, these cheaper airlines around the world. So uh, probably the one question we get a lot is, can you actually carry all that stuff on to these cheap airlines? So the answer is yes. They the the dimensions fit into the overhead compartment okay where we might get caught is on the weight so a lot of these cheapos uh it's seven grams seven kilograms total for uh, totally. anything you're carrying on whether that's a backpack a purse or whatever and so they say one private one personal item and one carry-on item all that together uh well, well the carry-on item needs to be seven kilograms or less we're at about what 14 kilograms on the backpacks and seven or eight or 14 kilograms on the suitcases and seven on the, on yeah, the backpack right my backpack is uh, like about seven kilograms about 15 pounds right when it's right. fully packed so we're at 21 kilograms or about 35 pounds total we each we each carry about 35 pounds total between our, our in our ecosystem so uh these care these these discount carriers will say you can pay for one piece of luggage. Now, a lot of them, that one piece of luggage, you're not allowed to carry on with. You have to check it even if it is a carry-on. So it gets a little complicated. Make sure you read all the rules. For us, we just assume we're underweight and we just, you know, get our boarding passes uh, from the kiosk, not from the desk. Yeah. And we roll right onto the airplane yeah. and i think we've only ever caught, caught once right? i think it's important just to just to be observant and just see what's going on if you need to get to the airport a little bit early just to kind of scope it out and and, and see what's what's happening guys i want to carry my stuff on with me and it's more because it's everything we own i, I just want to <laughs> with me and and the size is not the issue the size fits in the in the overhead part uh just fine. The backpack is not the issue. I've never had a question about the backpack, but we have seen even before you get to security where there's a line where they're weighing your uh, roller bags. Right. And because, you know, the, the, that's what, that's the thing that's the issue is the roller bags, if it's over a certain amount, they're going to make you check it. And that was particularly at Air Asia and Kuala Lumpur. Elsewhere in Southeast Asia, yeah. we were not weighed anywhere or we were right. able to bypass the weighing right. desk or whatever, and we we're able to then, roll on. So, and then the other Your mileage may vary. Is that, you know, you're, you're through security, you're, you're at the gate. Um, I, 
I, I use the term, you know, look light, you know, like don't, don't stand right in front of the, you know, the desk at the flight attendants with, with all your bags saying, oh my gosh, this stuff is heavy. Or, or do I weigh too much? <laughs> or do I weigh too much? <laughs> and don't you have know? things sticking out because that makes you look heavy too, you know, have it yeah. every trimmed and packed up. Yeah. So, yeah, so it, it, it's it's worked for us. Uh, again, it, you know, they they we have seen also them kind of single people out and kind of look at people and say, can I, you know, weigh your bag? And, and you know, we just we don't we just don't we, we try, try to, to avoid those situations. We could do a whole video on how to, like, avoid being weighed. We should do that. <laughs> anyway, we're getting long in the tooth here, as they would say. Your mileage may vary. You can ask us questions, type, type them below. We'll tell you our exact scenarios of how we were able to get our uh, bags onto Air Asia and onto Ryanair without paying for them. So moving on, speaking of packing, we feel like we have got the secret, the number one way to how, to, what's it called? What do we call it? Bundling. 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 Bundle no compression packing. bags. We bundle our stuff. We get our, we arrive at our location. Everything fits. Nothing is wrinkled. And it's very easy to pull it all out and put it in drawers. So so easy to pack and so easy to unpack and nothing gets wrinkled and it all fits perfectly. So Steve's going to go first. I'm going to go second so you can see his, his packing and then my pack and then we'll come around at the end. Steve starts by packing the bottom of his suitcase with two pairs of shoes, his cord pouch, his med pouch, and then he builds on top of that as he gets his bundle ready to put it into the bag. So here you see him layering his long sleeve clothes first, then his short sleeve shirts, and they're just making them a nice neat pile on top of each other, stacking everything nice and neatly. Then he adds on his shorts. He's got three or four pairs of shorts. You'll see that in the packing list. And then he adds uh, his swimming trunks, his briefs and his socks, a couple extra items. And then he folds the long sleeves over and folds it into a bundle and then just stuffs it right into the bag. He then uses his compression straps, his compression straps in order to seal it closed and zips it up and boom, we have the perfect bundle in his carry-on ready to go. Next up is his backpack. We don't do a bundling effort in the backpack, but we do do a very organized things. So Steve has first put in his, his drawing pads and then his computer and some other electronics. Then he puts his various pouches, which you saw pictures of his pouches earlier. He then rolls up his travel suitcase or travel pillow, puts it in there, adds on all of his extra electronics, throws the poles in on the side, zips it up, and boom, his backpack's ready. Now when Chris does her carry-on, she starts the bottom of her carry-on with the same thing. She puts her shoes in the bottom. She has a water belt, uh, her water bottle belt, and her sun hat a waterproof backpack, and then she builds her pack on top of that. Now she does things a little bit differently. She crisscrosses her shirts, still doing the long sleeves for shirts first, and then she stacks on all of her dressy shirts and her workout shirts and so on, and even her t-shirts. She then throws on all of her shorts. Oh, there's her cute little dress that she has. There's her shorts, um, a scarf, and her underwear and bras and so on. Then she makes up her bundle too, it's a little bit bigger than Steve's but because she has fewer things in the bottom of her bag. She's able to sneak that in there as well. She does her comp comp compression straps too, then zips it all up and boom, she's got her, her carry-on ready to roll right onto the airplane. Boom. Next, she packs her backpack and her backpack is a different design than Steve's. It's got a lot more compartments like because it's a Rick Steve's product. First, she puts her computer and her Kindle in, then her straw and her first aid kit and some cords. She puts her drawing pad stuff into another zipper pocket. In the secret part, she puts her extra wallet and um, earplugs and so on. Then she puts a change of clothes and her... All right, what'd you think of that? Were you, uh, were you sweating when you were doing that packing on film? Uh, so you were... <laughs> you are looking at oh, my... Yeah, yeah so... You were I'm a little speaking. embarrassed about that spot, weren't you? <laughs> Don't film me from above like that. <laughs> You're still handsome no matter how I film you. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> so anyway, now that Steve has gotten over the fact, letting the whole world know that he has a little bit of a spot up here, he did a nice job backing. Anyway, um, that's how, so that's how we pack. That's how we bundle. That's how we squeeze it all in. That's how we always manage to get it in and it works beautifully. When we arrive someplace, we take the whole bundle out, we fold everything up, we put it in drawers, 
then we do it all again for our next time. And it works great because usually we're staying in a place two weeks or more and you've got to unpack everything anyway. Yeah. Yeah. All right. If you have questions about any of the products, any of the, the hardware, the bags, the software, the clothes, or anything in it, ask us. We love hearing your questions. Tell us your stories about how you snuck your bag onto AirAsia. And uh, we will see you next week.